There's a lot of information out there about overclocking your CPU, but what about overclocking your memory? RAM can be overclocked, and with RAM performance being more of a factor than it was even just several years ago, especially on AMD platforms, it's good to know how you can give your memory a free speed boost. So let's jump right in. The most straightforward way to tweak your memory speed is to use a setting called XMP, which stands for Extreme Memory Profile. And even though it was developed by Intel, you can typically find it on both Intel and AMD-based motherboards, although sometimes under the name DOCP. XMP offers preloaded profiles, one of which is most likely going to match the specifications that you see on the RAM packaging or on the sticks themselves. You see, when you install a new stick of RAM, your system will usually default to running it at a lower safe speed to ensure compatibility. So XMP gives you an easy way to set your memory frequency, timings, and voltage to match what it says on the spec sheet. Just go into your UEFI BIOS, select the matching XMP profile from the memory settings page, and reboot your system. Keep in mind that there is a chance that a system with an XMP profile loaded might not be stable, especially if you're pushing beyond what the compatible memory speed listed on your CPU spec page is. You can easily find that on Intel or AMD websites. You'd also do well to remember that lower end motherboards can have a hard time keeping up with overclocked memory. However, if you're sticking to what's listed on the memory packaging, chances are you should be okay. Corsair memory is built and tested for performance and reliability for overclockers. But let's say you wanna go beyond XMP and tweak the settings yourself to get even more out of your RAM. Well, you're gonna to wanna to find the memory frequency in your UEFI BIOS and slowly increase it. It's a good idea to not go up more than one step at a time. You can also combine a speed increase with lowering your timings, so those numbers that are in a sequence on the back of the RAM. Try lowering the first four numbers by one each, so that's CL, TRCD, TRP, and TRAS. Rebooting, and then checking for stability. You can also lower the command rate from 2T to 1T for an additional boost, although if you have all of your memory slots full, that may not be possible. Now, you might be able to get away with a slight overclock just by increasing the speed and tightening the timings a bit but you'll probably want to give your RAM a little bit more voltage to ensure stability, especially if you're going for a relatively high overclock. Just make sure that you're conservative about how much voltage you add because too much can damage your system. DDR4 runs at 1.2 volts by default, and many kits are rated by their manufacturers to run at 1.35 volts with XMP. Many motherboards will allow you to bump your voltage up by just 0.005 volts at a time, so take advantage of that and raise your voltage slowly until your system is stable. As far as how high you can go, keeping things below 1.45 volts is probably a safe bet. Another pro tip for stability is to tweak your system agent, sometimes called VCCSA on Intel and SOC on AMD, as well as the VCCIO voltages. These settings control the voltage of the memory controller and CPU IO respectively. Now, although these are processor voltages and don't directly touch your RAM sticks, giving them a little bit more juice can help stabilize your system because they help the integrated memory controller on the CPU run at these higher frequencies. Again though, do be careful when touching these and use the smallest increments that your motherboard offers. Once you've got all your settings dialed in and your system seems to work, it's a good idea to stress test it for about a day to make sure that it's actually working and doesn't crash. There are plenty of options for doing this, so we're gonna try to link a couple in the video description, but it's a good idea to do some of your own research online and figure out which stress testing utility you might wanna use. Of course, if you're having serious problems getting even a modest overclock, make sure that your system has adequate cooling and airflow, and that's it. Enjoy the free performance boost, and remember that when you're looking to build or upgrade your system, Corsair has a full lineup of Vengeance and Dominator memory built for performance, stability, and longevity and with modern aesthetics and RGB lighting, of course. So check them out today.